All right, so I finished the uh, first, the foundation row of my blanket stitches across the top of my dish towel. And so now I'm ready to go ahead and do my first row of double crochets. And basically I'm just gonna do one double crochet in each of the spaces created by uh, the blanket stitches. And here at the very end, this is the end that I uh, ended with when I was going across. Basically I just looped the yarn back through this final stitch to kind of just secure it. Um, I'm leaving this tail on here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave in as I go. So I'm going to bring my first row of stitches is going to come across this way. And so then when I go up to do my second row, I'm going to grab onto this. I'm going to weave this into the stitches going back across. So that'll secure it nice and tight on this end. So anyway, to start uh, with this row, basically it's just simple double crochets. And you'll see that when we start off here, this first stitch, see how this one's kind of at a diagonal because it was the very first stitch that we did. Well, we want to bring that up and make that flat across the top just like the rest of them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stick my hook in through this diagonal stitch just like that. And I'm going to grab onto my yarn, pull it through so I have one loop on my hook. And then you'll see that now that's pulled to the side and so it sits flat across the top just like the rest of them. Now this first stitch uh, is going to be like any other stitch at the beginning of a row. We're just going to make uh, three chains to make uh, a turning stitch. So we'll do one, two, three. And I, I like to do three for my double crochets because I crochet very loosely. And so if I only do two in my double crochets, then um, the very ends of my lines will be a little bit off. So now we're just going to do a regular double crochet into the next stitch. So we're going to wrap the yarn. We're going to stick it into the next hole, which is right here. And so you'll notice that the needle is right between the fabric itself and the yarn. So I'm going to grab it, pull it through, and then I'm just going to finish this like a regular double crochet. Grab the yarn, pull it through two, and pull it through two. And that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and do the next stitch, which is same thing, double crochet. So we just wrap the yarn, we go and put it into this hole that's created between the fabric itself and the yarn. Pull through two, pull through two, and I'll go ahead and do one more. And one more, make it a nice even five. And looks like my ball decided to knot up on me. So now we've got five stitches, and like I said, I'm just going to do one regular double crochet all the way across, in every stitch, all the way across. So the next video is where I'll show what we do for row number two, which is where we're going to start doing our decreases, because if you'll notice, like in this sample, it angles. it angles up and that's all from a systematic decrease as you go across so anyway th that'll be row two will be in the next video